Time perhaps to change the way you feel about Vauxhall's Corsa. This fourth generation version aims to surprise in all the ways its predecessor was unremarkable. As a result, on paper at least, it's the most competitive Super Mini the brand has ever bought us. There used to be quite a significant gap between a Vauxhall Corsa and its arch rival Ford's Fiesta in terms of driving dynamics. There isn't any longer. Yes, of course, it still has a little way to go before it can surpass the Fiesta for ultimate handling response, but it can now run the Ford close, thanks to a whole series of development changes, not least a stiffer redesigned chassis and much greater torsional rigidity. Other reasons behind this improvement lie with a completely revised suspension setup. There's also much better body control and a significant improvement in ride quality. I'm tempted to be equally prescriptive when it comes to your choice of engine. At launch, the only completely new power plant this car could offer was the one on which the majority of the launch budget was clearly spent, the three-cylinder, one-litre turbocharged Ecotec petrol unit. It's the one I'm trying here, and if I was shopping for a Corsa, this is the variant I'd ask to drive first. It comes in either 90 or 115 PS guises, and either way has the same claim to fame. Namely, in being the first three-cylinder engine that, well, doesn't sound like a three-cylinder engine. Of course, there are other engine options, the headliner being a redeveloped version of the 1.4-litre turbo petrol unit that until now has been primarily reserved for Vauxhall's larger Astra family hatch. An easier course of variant for dealers to shift will be the 1.3-litre CDTi diesel. As before, this frugal Ecoflex unit offers 75 and 95 PS output options. And as before, the one to have is the pokier version. Of course, diesel power and cutting-edge petrol engine technology can be pricey, which is why budget-minded Corsa folk shopping at the very bottom of the range will probably continue to opt for a version fitted with one of the two older 1.2i and 1.4i petrol power plants carried over from the previous Mark III model. After a few days with this Corsa, I found the words of a familiar rhyme coming to mind. Something old, something new, something borrowed, something blue. These are, after all, the fundamentals behind its design. The old is easily appreciated, for you'll immediately recognise this as a Corsa, given that the windows and the A, B and C pillars that surround them on this Mark IV model are pretty much identical to those of the old third generation version. There's much that's new too, though. Every body panel is different, most of the underpinnings are changed, and there's a redesigned crash structure at the front. All that does, though, surround much that's borrowed from the old Mark III. A number of the engines fitted to this car at launch were, after all, merely updated versions of those familiar from its predecessor. Some of them, though, are very different, like the environmentally blue one-litre Ecotec petrol unit we're trying here. It's the cleverest power plant you can buy in this car, and there's uh, also the option of a substantially revised version of Vauxhall's 1.4-litre turbo petrol unit. Time to take a seat up front, where the differences that set this fourth generation Corsa apart really do become obvious. Two first impressions dominate. First, that everything's of much higher quality than before, with soft touch materials dominating the dash and decor elements dressed in rich satin chrome. Second is the way that on most models, many of the major functions are grouped onto the seven inch IntelliLink infotainment color touchscreen that dominates the center of the dash and is smartly mounted in a high gloss surround. The Corsa has long campaigned on its provision of low running costs and this fourth generation version picks up here where its predecessor left off. The headline making engine here is the one litre petrol turbo Ecotec engine that I'm trying. We're talking 65.7 miles to the gallon on the combined cycle and 100 grams per kilometre of CO2, which is pretty much identical to what you get from a directly comparable 100 PS Fiesta 1 litre T EcoBoost. Ultimately, what we're looking at here is a Corsa that can. It can be fun to drive, it can deliver a big car feel, and it can stack up well on the balance sheet. 
It's a small Vauxhall for which no apologies need to be made. All that will worry obvious super mini rivals. After all, this model's predecessor lacked a little in all of these areas, yet still racked up very respectable sales against them. This Mark IV version is still very competitively priced, but has become a contender in this segment that sells on more than just sheer value. Add to that the wide model lineup and the likely deals on offer, and you've a super mini that more than ever needs to remain high on any family shopping list.